previous lesson, we talked about ways to get started in ZBrush Core. In this lesson, I'm going to introduce you to Z-Spheres. There are two things you need to know about them. The first thing is that they are not geometry. All this means is that you can't sculpt on them directly. They are merely a tool to create an armature, which you can pose and then turn into geometry. Secondly, even though they are not geometry, they can be added or placed into geometry that already exists. This will make a little more sense once we learn more here. So next, let's go over to the Tools palette here, click on the Tool thumbnail, and then move your cursor over to the Z-Spheres and select that. And now it's placed on the canvas. Next, make sure you're in Draw Mode. Now, click on your original Z-Sphere and pull the object out so that it gets larger or smaller depending on how you move your cursor. If I go south with my cursor or down with my cursor, you see the object gets larger. And vice versa, if I go north or uh, to the top of the screen, it gets smaller. If you want to add more Z-spheres to this object, simply click on it and drag out another one, like this. If you don't like the last placement of your Z-Sphere, the easiest way is just to hold down the Alt key and click and it'll erase that last Z-Sphere. Also check this out. Let's say I want to remove this middle Z-Sphere here in between two others. If I go ahead and hold Alt and click on that, you'll see that ZBrush Core actually averages those two points out. Just remember when deleting, you can't delete the original Z-Sphere. Let's take a look at how to move, scale, and rotate your Z-Spheres. Let's start by moving our Z-Spheres. You can either select the Move tool at the top of the palette here, or you can select W on your keyboard. Now, just simply click on a Z-Sphere and move it to the area you want it to be. Let me pause here and talk about Z-Spheres hierarchy. Rather than clicking on every Z-Sphere to try to move the whole object, Z-spheres have chains, so we can actually click on the space in between where you see the white arrows, and that will actually move everything after it. So if I click on this, you'll notice I'm just moving the bottom half of this hierarchy. The same concept applies to all three tools, move, scale, and rotate. Let's take a look at scale. So now that I'm in scale mode, if I select on the white line here in between the Z-spheres, You'll notice I can scale up everything afterwards. Pretty cool. Now let's try that with the Rotate tool. If I click on Rotate, and now click on the white line in between the Z-spheres, you'll notice everything after it rotates. This is really handy when you're trying to sculpt maybe like a tail or a horn or something to that extent that's really complicated and organic. Now that we have the basics down for learning how to create an armature with Z-spheres, Let's take a look at a few tips and tricks. In draw mode, if we hold shift down and click on one of the Z-spheres, you'll notice that it appears exactly the same size as the sphere that you clicked on. This is great to know, especially if you don't want to try to eye it and try to get it just the right size by guessing. This will make it exactly the same size without any guesswork. Think about creating maybe a hose or a tube or something that's very symmetrical all the way through. This is perfect for that, so keep that in the back of your mind as you draw. Another thing to keep in mind is that the final resolution of your model, once it's rendered, really depend on how many Z-spheres you put in this first armature. So let's take this shape for instance. Right now it has just two points. That won't look very good when it's rendered. We want the resolution to be really high. So what I'm going to do is just simply click in the middle of this, and you'll notice it adds the red Z-sphere right in the middle. What that's doing is giving me more resolution throughout the whole armature. This really comes in handy when you're trying to make a nice, smooth surface, maybe like a snake or a hose or something like that that is just all a bunch of curves and they're very symmetric. Finally, one of the best known secrets for creating an armature in ZBrush is creating it so it follows the movement of your mouse. Let's just give that a shot here. First, make sure you're in draw mode. Click and drag to create a new Z-sphere. 
And before you release the click, press the control key once. Now if we keep moving the mouse, you'll see that the Z-Sphere's movement is constrained to just one axis. Note, that's handy as well too. Now, just press the control key one more time, and there you go. As I move my mouse, you can see the ZBrush Core generates Z-Spheres following the position of my mouse. Hey, if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, thanks for watching.